Okay, guys, we have the great LHR Unlock War of 2022. I did not expect another miner to come out and crack the LHR code one day after NiceHash releases the great news. So I've been playing around with NiceHash, been running. It's all good and it's all great. Uh, using their GUI, using their driver. It's all fun. I'm, I'm fine-tuning stuff with their OC tune, getting used to it, and it works, right? It's cool. It's pretty impressive. Uh, sometimes it does draw a lot of power on some of their presets, so that's why I went into the OC tune and tweaked them. But anyway, in this video, we're going to play with NB Miner, and they have the 100% LHR Unlocker, and it is for both Windows and Linux. And as you guys know, I run everything Windows. I'm old school. Uh, everyone else seems to be on Hive OS, running Linux, which is all good, but I don't want to pay a fee. I am cheap. Everything adds up to me, so I can do it manually, and it makes me better at controlling stuff instead of relying upon a GUI. Uh, because in my career, I've written enough GUIs to know I'd rather do it myself. Anyway, but that's what the government paid for. All right, let's get rolling. Uh, so here I went to MB Minor version 41.0 and that's on their github I downloaded it I installed it and I have a nice little uh, I have a nice little miners folder with GPU and my NB miner 41.0 so what I did I, I am doing two miners because I love myself some Bitcoin but I will mine I will mine I will use I will slap ethereum around as long as I can to get my Bitcoin so I will mine Ethereum to get paid out in Bitcoin. Uh, I was on NiceHash, and I have uh, a couple rigs running there. The LHR is just to see how they work, and they're working great. I think it's pretty cool. But I like, I like the batch files. I like controlling stuff from a command script. Uh, I just like seeing that console. I, I mean, I know NiceHash gives you a console output. I just want to have total control as much as possible with the batch file, with the overclocks, in a script. I don't know. It's just I want that hands-on. So I, I'm hoping MB Miner comes through while you know while we wait for T-Rex because I am a T-Rex fanboy. I love T-Rex, and I'll, I I can't wait for them to get the 100% LHR unlocker out. So it, it should be soon. But uh, MB Miner, I use MB Miner on my NVIDIA. I mean, sorry, my AMD 6600 XT rig. <clears throat> Reason is T Rex does not. Uh, it does not run Nvidia. Uh, geez, T Rex does not run AMD cards, and it runs great. Uh, I didn't like. I think some of the earlier versions you couldn't set the OC overclock settings in the batch file, but I read the README file this time, and in this release, or maybe in a previous release, but in 41.0, RTFM guys, RTFM, right click on the README. And you'll learn all types of stuff, and it'll save you lots of time instead of trying to figure this stuff out. So go on down, and I just kept scrolling. Oh, what's all this stuff? What's new? Anything I'm missing? Gotchas? Any gotchas? Any gotchas? And I eventually find. Oh, where is it? Power limit. Here we go. In the readme file, it shows you how to set the power limit, how to set the core clock, how to set the memory clock. What I thought was awesome, because T-Rex Miner allows for the locking of the clock, with an, and they, uh, MB Miner does the same, the same setting. It's almost one-to-one, -one, core clock, C clock, M clock, and they use an at sign with the, with the value of the uh, lock clock setting. So I said, sweet, and he also had the fan setting. Cool. I said, that's a win, people. That is a win. So I made myself a batch file. Let's make sure I find the right one. Is it this one? That is not the right one. That is not the right one. That is my T. Oh, that's my. That's another one. Oh, let's go over here. Here we go. So this is my uh, MB miner batch file to run Ethereum on two miners. Again, mining to Bitcoin, mining Ethereum, getting paid out in Bitcoin. Uh, here are my settings. I don't think I need to set the PL, the power level, but I'll just do it anyway to zero. Because with T-Rex, when you did the lock core clock, you don't worry about the power level. So I think MB minor is most likely 
most likely the same. So here's my settings, PL, 0%, core, clock, and I lock it at 1400. And that is, uh, yeah, that is just how I rolled. That's how I rolled on the um, T-Rex Miner running the 3080 Ti. So these are my OCs for the 3080 Ti, LHR. And on um, nice hash, I was getting 115 to 120. I could smoke them at 122, but it was just drawing too much power. And it wasn't, to me, it wasn't efficient. Sure, I got that yummy hash rate, but my God, I was burning watts. And I said, all right, let me fine tune these. And I, I spent a day and I got it down where I was comfortable and things ran really stable. But then of course you wake up and there's a new battle occurring, a new winner or a new entrance into the arena, NB Minor. NB Minor with their LHR, 100% unlocked. So let's go ahead and try it. I figure I'll record this stuff because I want to keep track of what I'm doing because I forget. And I go, my God, what were those overclock settings? So let me go look at the video. There it is. Thank you. Because I'll lose my notes and uh, who knows. So we have the memory clock at 1060. And I, ran, I, I crank these fans because the VRAM on these cards, and I'm in a Grow 10 as well. The VRAM just runs hot, and the Grow 10 makes them run hot too. It's just you can't get enough heat out of that tent in time. You need a, I don't know, you almost need a professional system, but I have it right where I don't have enough negative, you know, I don't have too much negative pressure. I think I have the air flowing perfect now. Uh, could be 100% better, obviously. And I actually worked with a guy or know a friend who, who did what I did, and he built server rooms and he was talking about air handling and ambient temperatures and uh raised floors and uh what else you know cable management in these professional server labs for the government for the military and uh i'm like dude you need to come over you need to come over because this is probably a simple solution for you he goes yeah you just gotta you know take into consideration the math the cubic volume of air you want to move the pressure positive negative uh and all that stuff and i went what I, I knew that, but he knew the formulas, and he said, yeah, we can go look at it and optimize your grow tent. And he goes, yeah, you can wrap some stuff, too, to wrap your ducting to keep the uh, heat in the duct instead of having it radiate out from the grow tent and the duct, because it acts kind of like a little wood stove. But anyway, we, did, we digress. We digress. We are here. We are here to play with MB Minor. Um, I do a live stream, but everyone else is doing live streams. I just want to do a video, and you guys can just sit and fast forward. And uh, just see how this goes. So here is my MB minor setup for the 3080 Ti. And again, I told you what I was getting on nice hash, pretty decent numbers. And it was working. I was like, my God, this works. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right. But then you got to watch your power management. So that's another consideration. All right. So yeah, nice hash for the win. Great. I haven't used nice hash since uh, November or something. I tweaked around with it. But then I just went to doing everything manually via windows so let's get rolling here so i'm all set up i have i have my start eth two miners uh batch file so let's go i think we have everything closed down there i downloaded mb minor 41 let's just minimize let's just close it and i went into mb minor. i just do this this is a habit i right click i go to properties I go to compatibility. I just always just click this just in case I don't run it as admin by default um, by um, when I right click on the batch file. I just make sure this thing executable runs as admin just to give me all that juicy access. Okay, let's rock. Blammo. Big money, big money, big money. All right, guys, let's sit back and enjoy the show. And be minor, there are my six 3080 Ti's, which cost me a nice chunk of change. Uh, yeah, I was, I was probably one of the idiots. I bought them at the peak, but it paid off, man. With these 100% LHR unlocks now, with nice hash, uh, Hive OS, whatever, MB minor, and soon to be T Rex, I think. I hope. Now these cards are smoking, baby. You're getting, you're getting your money's worth, and I hope the POS. On Ethereum just keeps getting kicked down the road. Knowing software, having been in software forever, and knowing how teams work, it's going to take a while. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully till at least the end of the year. And maybe I'll get to ROI these cards and uh, feel good about my investment. And then at that time, GPU money will go to zero. So <laughs> good, a good test, right? 
yeah, if you're not worried, if you're a GPU miner and you're not worried, then you, you're not paying attention. And if you're out buying more GPUs and buying like fancy stuff for your GPUs and your rigs, I don't know, guys, you got to consider you're throwing good money away. Uh, just maybe sit tight and see how the market pans out and stuff like this. This unlock has given me 180 extra mega hash. And I, you know, that's, that's roughly six. 1660 super cards that were that are giving me 31 32 30 mega hash on ethereum you know you multiply that by three oh my god you know that that's a nice little chunk of change so let's say let's say with tax and all the bull crap uh you can probably get a, a 1660 super for that and six of those puppies whopping two thousand bucks not counting risers and cables yeah so that is a great investment without spending any money and actually not even upping the amps are the amps, the watch used on your mining rig. So here we are. MB miner is kicking off. It didn't take nearly as long. Look at that right up here. It, it was kind of figuring itself out and then blammo, it kind of starts dialing itself in. It's getting better. Now we're north of 116, 118. What? And that's fine. Cause look at the power. I like, to keep the power, oh man, I want to keep them under 300. On nice hash, I was getting up to 310 and high, and that was on their high setting. And even my overclocks, I had to go in there and not use nice hashes presets on like low, medium, high. I had to go in and use the uh, OC tune, the quick minor OC tune. Yeah, and set my own overclocks pretty much to what I had in T Rex minor just to keep that power usage under control, that, that watts down. But this is, look, oh, there we got a 309. This card sucks. Number three, number three, device number three GPU is just a pain in my butt. It seems to always run high on the power consumption. So I might have to go in, look at that, 310. I don't like that. I might have to go into this guy. And uh, instead of have my blanket overclock settings like this, I might have to set them per device just to keep that power usage down. And I'm willing to lose a few hash rate on Ethereum just to keep that power and consumption a bit down. So I'll keep an eye on it. Let's hope it stays below 310. So yeah, the mem temps are going up a little bit. This is normal for these top three 3080 TIs. Total crap. But uh, yeah, now if I'm getting 118, close to 120 sometimes, maybe, hopefully, on these cards... Uh, we'll see what happens. And look at that. This is our first run through and we got an error. It's probably going to kill my screen in a second. We got a power limit error, unknown error, memory clock. Yep, there it goes. So guys, we got an error, our first run out, or well, second run on MB minor. And I'm looking over on my main screen. It is a video TDR failure. So I definitely went too high on the time delay relay, whatever it's called. And I need to go figure out what that is about. It's again, probably the overclock settings. Maybe I need to set that power level in the uh, M, uh, the uh, MB minor batch file. That's all I can think of right now. Uh, yeah, because I heard it, I heard the um, HP power supply start to spin up, and uh, then the next thing I go, I got the blue screen of death. You can't see it from here, but uh, that's where we're at. So all right, I'm going to go fix that. I just wanted to give a little update of what I'm doing with MB minor. Go check it out. And I know a lot of people are using it through Hive OS. And I think Hive OS is currently being nailed right now with downloads and configuration because a lot of people don't like nice hash. They they'd rather stay on Linux and use uh, what they've been using, which is Hive OS. I use Windows, which is fine. I'm going to stick with Windows. Yeah, until I can't stick with it any longer. But yeah, I'm fine with Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this uh, MB minor thing because I like it. just came right up, dialed it in, and I just have one rogue setting I got to fix. Probably the power level. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's all I got. Go forth and check out MB Miner. And uh, here's looking towards forward, towards forward to the uh, T Rex release of their 100% unlocker. All right, guys, thanks for watching.